A run in with the law. We're learning more about the arrest of a Leslie County official. This is emergency management director James Couch smiling in his mugshot following his arrest in Laurel County. A woman claims Couch, who deputies say was drunk, broke into her car. Deputies say he tried to get off the hook by telling them he was a county official. WYMT's Haley Benogue spoke to deputies and the woman that made the call for help. Police say James Couch broke into two different cars in the same driveway in London, reclining the seats all the way back in both of them. He said that he was the emergency management director from Leslie County and that he was a deputy sheriff. The homeowner was awoken by her dogs and when she saw someone was in her car, she wanted to be prepared. He started walking toward the door and I you know, just pointed the gun at him and I told him, I said, just leave. After police arrested Couch, he was taken to the Laurel County Detention Center. And I went out and, and got in mind to let my seat back up. And I had a, a small candy bar in there. He hit because the paper was laid in the floorboard. WYMT reached out to Leslie County Judge Executive Jimmy Sizemore, and all he said was Couch was on vacation. But I wanted to hear more from the judge executive, so I went to his office in Leslie County. Before I could even get through the door, he ducked into his private office and shut the door. His secretary said to me that he would not be making any further comments on the situation and also said that when employees are on vacation, they're on their own time. I think it's a very serious offense and I think the charges are very serious on this. Couch is facing charges of criminal trespassing, disorderly conduct, and alcohol intoxication in a public place. In Laurel and Leslie counties, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. The Leslie County Sheriff did confirm James Couch is an honorary sheriff's deputy, but also said, quote, not for long. Coach declined a request for an interview from jail yesterday morning and has since been released.